Hi everyone, Heather Bellini here. I am here to talk to you about what it's like to work from home and to share eight tips to make it a little bit easier. Uh, since all non-essential businesses are now closed, that would mean that I am also in the same boat as many of you because my photography studio in Williamsville is also now closed. So I don't wanna get into talking about financial hardship or anything else like that. What I really do wanna talk about is creating a healthy home environment because before I moved into my photography studio, I was running my business directly out of my dining room for many years. And I believe that I might be a, a little bit of a self-proclaimed expert on this topic. So here we go. Uh, number one, make sure that you are setting respectful boundaries. If you live in a house and there's more than one person, I definitely would recommend having one person work upstairs and the other one downstairs. Uh, the fact that we're self-quarantined together all day, I think that we could take a little time apart to work separately and enjoy the separate environment. And if you do live in an apartment, uh, one person in the kitchen, the other in the office, don't work on the couch with Netflix on in the background. It's really unproductive, especially when you're trying to concentrate. Uh, and regardless of space or location, establish an area in your home where you will work and commit to working in the same space every single day because consistency is definitely key. Uh, number two, don't get sloppy. Be sure you get dressed every single morning. This does not mean power suits, but take a shower, throw on some jeans. Uh, beyond psychologically getting you in the right mindset for work, you are going to be ready to handle any kind of video chat or check in with a teammate or anything like that. And you'll be prepared to get work done and you'll be mentally and physically prepared for the day. Uh, just like you were leaving to go somewhere. Like I'm not going anywhere today, but I got dressed literally to do this video and you never know when somebody's going to want to FaceTime or Zoom or any other kind of channel that you're using to talk to people. Uh, number three, Make sure you set a schedule. Uh, the beauty from working from home is that you can be as flexible in setting your hours as you want. For example, if you're most productive in the morning or if you need to get your kids set up for learning, then you may want to think about setting your work hours from seven to three. Uh, enforce a hard stop at the end of the day. Distance yourself from work so you don't work nonstop because being that close to your work can mean you can jump right in at any time and start all over again. Uh, don't forget to stand up. Smartwatches even have apps that tell us when we're sitting too long, which is amazing. Uh, I take advantage of that a lot. Number four, make time for the people that you are self-quarantined with, even after you're done with your set work hours. If that means leaning anxiously against various pieces of furniture or laying on the couch while scrolling through your phone and saying things like, did you see the news today? Or I told you we needed more Lysol or thank goodness liquor stores are essential. Whatever it is, make sure you're spending time with that person um, not working or not stopping to go back and jump into work. Uh, number five, set daily goals. Start your day by reviewing priorities. When you make your task list, stick to it. It's tempting to just leap into your email, but with a little extra focus, you can move the needle while working from home. Set time limits for each task. After you complete each task, cross it off the list. The simple technique is both effective and fulfilling because if you're anything like me, you love crossing off items on a to-do list. I get that from my dad. It is ingrained in me. I will write something down just to cross it off. It's the best feeling in the world. Uh, number six, have virtual meetings, uh, virtual happy hours, virtual everything, because right now uh, video conferences are the hallmark of remote work. Uh, working from home can get pretty lonely, especially if you're single or if you live alone. Make it a point to chat with colleagues, team members, clients every single day. It matters. Um, you don't even have to talk about work. Just connect as coworkers and people uh, humanity may not be lost in working remotely. And you know what? Social distancing does not mean social isolation. Um, stay healthy, turn off the TV, turn off the computer, get away from everybody for just a little bit, leave your phone at home, take a walk. Uh, unfortunately, coronavirus will still be there when you get back, sadly. Um, number eight, here are a few tips for working parents with kids from my colleagues and friends with children. Uh, my associate photographer, Amber, says, maintain a schedule, start with waking up every day to an alarm, same time, Monday through Friday, get dressed, make beds, make breakfast, define the day with time so everyone knows what to expect and what happens at what time. 
Even the kids make their lunches ahead of time every single day, just like a regular routine. Uh, schedule physical and active time twice a day as well and have a divine, defined working space for everyone, including children, and an end time for work day uh, and schoolwork as well to balance the structure. Uh, my friend Jesse, who is working from home in Maryland, says if you have kids, set them up with a movie, or if you're limiting screen time, ask them to draw or color something specific or make a card or a picture to send to grandparents. Have sandwiches and snacks pre-made and easy to grab so you don't have to stop working every time you hear that your kid is hungry. Give specific tasks to the kids throughout the day. My friend Renee, who has always homeschooled her children, even before uh, this became something that everyone is doing right now, um, she says to use educational videos on YouTube and Netflix. Also take advantage of Pinterest activities using items that you have around the house. A great idea is if you have a large picture frame, hang it at kid level so you can use dry erase markers on the glass um, and kids can draw on it. So I thought that was pretty fun. So those are my tips. I hope this is helpful. I hope you watch this video. Please let me know if you liked it. Um, honestly, it's really all about just establishing good habits, not letting yourself get distracted and focus, focus, focus. Good luck. Stay healthy. We will all get through this. And in the end, well, we're all still going to be here. And I hope that all this virtual connection continues along with the in-person connection. So take care of yourselves out there and we'll talk soon. Bye.